हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इम्यूनाइजेशन दैट इज इम्यूनाइजेशन पार्ट टू द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल इज इम्यूनाइजेशन कॉम्प्लाइंस विद रिकमेंडेड डोज एंड रूट ऑफ वैक्सीनेशन लिमिट द एडवर्स इवेंट एंड द लॉस ऑफ एफिकेसी दैट मीन्स द वैक्सीनेशन शुड बी गिवन इन द रिकमेंडेड डोज दैट इज प्रिस्क्राइब्ड बाय द in the immunization schedule and route of vaccination should be given that is prescribed in the immunization schedule because otherwise it will lead to adverse effect on any individual second is between two live vaccine there should be minimum interval of four weeks that means two live vaccine should not be administered together there should be a gap of at least one month the third principle is no minimum recommended time interval between two types of vaccine that means two type of vaccine can be given together but the sites they should be different for example one is live vaccine opv and one is pentavalent vaccine they can be given together opv it is a live vaccine and pentavalent it is a killed vaccine but the site they should be different next principle is a delay or lapse in the administration of vaccine does not require the whole schedule to be repeated if there is any delay of vaccination or immunization it is there so the whole schedule should not be repeated the lapse or the delay vaccine can be given when the person is coming to the opd next mixing of vaccine in the same syringe is not recommended otherwise there will be drug interaction and the person will have some allergy towards it so the mixing of vaccine should not be given together next principle is the following are not contraindicated in immunization if a neonate or a child is having minor illnesses like uti diarrhea mild fever prematurity history of allergy malnutrition recent exposure to infection and current therapy with antibiotics that means sometimes mother they are thinking that my child is having infection like cough cold and i should not i should not administer i should not make my child to take the vaccination otherwise it, it will also lead to some condition so these are not contraindicated the child can able to get the vaccination in these condition next principle is live vaccines are contraindicated in children with inherited or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome and the child is getting immunosuppressive drug the live vaccines like opv measles bcg these are contraindicated in the children if child is having aids or some disease that is maintaining immunosuppressive to the person for example child is having any cancer so the live vaccine should not be administered they will lead to infection to the person who is immunocompromised next principle is immunoglobin interfere with the immune response to certain live vaccine like measles and mmr if immunoglobin are administered within 14 days of vaccine the vaccination should be repeated after 3 to 6 month because immunoglobins they are interfering with the live vaccine so that's why they should be repeated after 3 to 6 month active immunization is recommended for the following exposure to rabies measles varicella tetanus and hepatitis b if a person is coming in contact with rabies for example dog bite measles varicella tetanus any cut is there wound is there and hepatitis and bleeding is there and hepatitis b so the person has to take active immunization that means immediate immunization the person has to take killed antigens can be administered simultaneously or at a interval between the doses so killed vaccines can be given together but the site should be different so this in this video we discussed about the principles of vaccination next video we will be adding on the immunization schedule thanks for watching do like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos stay tuned with me stay safe stay healthy thank you